If you have ever been to Gatlinburg, Tennessee and taken the Ober Mountain tram ride, they would have pointed this out to you. All right, guys, if y'all look ahead on the right hand side, you can see that tall base cabin with the green roof with the bay windows. That is actually modeled after the 1970s Barbie Dream House. It was originally built and it was painted pink, but they took on new others and they changed the color of it. <laughs> it is currently relisted for sale and the asking price is $1.7 million. It did end up selling and in today's adventure, the owners of this house invited us to bring you on a tour with us to see what it's like on the inside, such as their very unique round kitchen to their bedrooms with fireplaces and master bedroom bathroom that Barbie would love and numerous places you can enjoy the view from this house nestled in the Great Smoky Mountains. You'll learn more about the history of this home and we'll show you a hidden stairwell and a closet that Barbie could store lots of her shoes along with a hidden key switch that does something Brie would love to have. Finally, we'll go over how much it costs to rent this house in Gatlinburg, Tennessee and much more. We didn't have too much trouble finding this property as you get some amazing views of the Smokies as you drive up to it, which is right down the road from Ober Mountain, where you can ski in the winter and do lots of different activities year round. Now that we've arrived to this home, let's head inside and check this place out. So we're here today with Mark Cuban, the owner of Barbie's Destiny Chalet, and thank you for having us. Oh, you're welcome. And he's gonna show us around. If you've ever wondered what the inside of this house looks like, we're gonna go see it, so let's go. All right, this is a full bathroom right here. When we purchased it, it kind of came basically the way you see it now. We've kind of left a lot of things. We've done a few things, but this is basically where we left everything for now, but we'll change that eventually. So you guys purchased the home in 2020? December 2021. 21, okay. And you did some light remodeling? Yeah, some light stuff. I mean, like we show you upstairs, there's like, um, there's three decks. There's one here on the main floor, one below, and there's one through the master. We redid that deck. Okay. And we had to do some repairs on some of this. What was the original year that this house was built in? Uh, or I believe 1980. Okay, so it has the general structure and setup as the, the 80s. Original. Okay, <laughs> which is perfect yeah. for the Barbie dream house look, right? This is the bar area. And the pool table. Pool table. And then we have like a step down area right here, like with a chase lounge. Just a, an area to relax. Yeah, just if you just want to read a book or drink a cup of coffee. Okay, very good. Yeah, John and Bobby Baker had this on the platforms when they rented it out on short-term rentals and they called it Destiny. So when we bought, uh, bought the property from them, we decided to incorporate that with what people call it normally because it's known as the Barbie house. So we thought Barbie's Destiny Chalet. So that's kind of how we came up with the name that this currently has. The designer of this house actually also designed the Peddler Restaurant down in Gatlinburg. And we just put you know, two uh, pull-out sleepers here. Okay. How many people can sleep in the house? 10 people. 10 people. Okay. Yes, it's like three bedroom and then two pull-out sleeper sofas. Okay. It's like 5,400 square feet. Okay. And tell me about this very interesting kitchen. This is the way they designed it originally. We haven't changed anything with this. We just left it alone. I have not seen anything quite like this. So you can get in here and have all your guests around. Yeah, you have two different cooktops right here. Mm -hmm. But the real highlight of this floor is right here. View. Yeah. The view. It's on a half an acre. How often does the Ober tram come by? Every few minutes. You can kind of see when that, those pulleys will start going and you'll, they'll, they'll come up and down. So you get the same view right from the hot tub out here. Yeah, they maximize this view in this whole property. So you do have some yard area too. Right. All this is part of the property here. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could pretty much walk to the ski resort if you wanted to. If you, you know, walked out to the door and took a left, like a couple blocks away, over up oh, here. Okay. That's a bonus if you're staying here. There's uh, two bedrooms down here. Okay. After you. This uh, staircase is very Barbie-ish. <laughs> All right, this is the first bedroom. Okay. 
like with an emerald oh, tub and the shower wow. matches. Does every bedroom have a fireplace? Yes, there's four fireplaces. Okay. The yes. one in the main and then there's a three or one in each bedroom and there's a hot tub in each bedroom also. Okay. So this deck connects to the two bedrooms, I yes. think? Okay. Yeah, you can go either or. I'm living my Barbie childhood dreams right here. And each bedroom has their own bathroom? Yeah, full bath in each okay. bedroom. With the TV. There's like phones in some of the bathrooms. We just left it, it was you know, wallpaper up. But... It's part of the nostalgia. Yeah. yeah. Bedroom number two. It's like a mirrored image almost. Here's the other side. This room's got its own bathroom as well. A little different. Is there a TV in this one, Ray? Ah, there it is. Ken, Ken, where are you? <laughs> That's the laundry room. Right laundry there. room, okay. I love having a laundry room on vacation. <laughs> Okay, so now we're here with Tammy, who also owns the Barbie Destiny Chalet. Yes. And so she's gonna show us the upstairs. You ready? Yeah. All right. So with the Barbie movie that came out recently, mm -hmm. did that cause- An influx of bookings? Yes. Yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> we were not expecting that. We didn't know a movie was coming out, but we were very fortunate to have Gotten, reap the benefit of it, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. But, uh, this is a beautiful sitting area that they had made for themselves. John and Bobby Baker built this house in the early 90s. Okay. And John had built it for Bobby. There was about a 20 year difference in th their age. He actually worked on the house, so he was physically involved. But I guess they were about our age now. So by the time that we purchased the house, um, they, he was in his 90s and he had passed away right before closing. So Bobby was a big Barbie fan, I yeah, take I, it? I take she was, yeah. Okay. <laughs> they actually rented out at that time, or they did, did. they just live here? They lived okay. in the master suite. Okay. There's a there's a butler's pantry through that far door, and there was a, there's a back entryway. They would come up and down those stairs. So they stopped doing that, stopped renting it when they couldn't come here anymore and maintain it because they couldn't get up and down the stairs. Gotcha. We did a lot of renovations. We wanted to keep it still the way they wanted it, kind of nostalgic and kind of posh. We've updated some things like TVs and stuff. There are some updating we have done, but not a whole lot where there are, there are more that we want to do, but we just wanted to do it gradual so everybody could see the way Bobby intended it to be. The right. nearest pool is just down the street here. So yes, you could walk there if you wanted to. Okay, and the other two pools you the other could two, drive to? You, you could drive through, they're not, not quite a mile away. Not too them. far. Okay. Yeah. And Ober is a couple blocks, like you could walk there? It would be a long walk. I would, I would probably choose to drive because it's a steep incline. Okay. So you would definitely want to drive, but it's not even a mile. Well, this view is spectacular. I'd love to see the rest yes. of where Bobby and John, where Bobby and John lived. Yes, this was the back access. There's, there was a shoe closet here that usually stays locked off. There, what used to be a tanning bed up here, and it's really just a loft. A tanning bed? There was, we had it removed. Gotta have your Barbie tan. <laughs> <laughs> Thought about putting a day bed in here, but I'm, we're not really sure what to do with this space yet. A couple chairs. We nice. had two of those chairs up here uh -huh. when we cleared it out. But the view, the view is remarkable. It is remarkable, yes. The roof is a copper patina. This overlooks the master area. There's the hot tub. Mm -hmm. Jet jacuzzi. Two person seater is pretty remarkable too. They definitely were into posh. They had lots of TVs everywhere. It was mostly the MTV era, if you remember back in the early 90s. So. Mm -hmm. Is this wallpaper original? Yes, that is original. There is um, all the wallpaper. We haven't changed any of the wallpaper. We were finding it very difficult to match. Again, the tub, two seater tub. This is the refrigerated wine cabinet. Mm -hmm. There's a refrigerator with an ice maker in it. Actually, I think it's just an ice maker. And then this is the refrigerator. This is what John and Bobby used when they had guests so that they didn't intrude on their guests. 
And I'm sure they had cooktops and stuff on that counter. So did they live here full time? I'm pretty sure they did for a while until it got too difficult for them to come up and down the stairs. There's a bidet. Fancy schmancy. Mm -hmm. Very bougie, right? Very bougie. <laughs> Everything is bougie. So, Whoa, the shower. Here. The shower, you don't even need light. There's so much natural light in here. It's just crazy. I'll see you in the shower, babe. All right, I'll be done. Hello. <laughs> wow. And we had left the phones in the bathrooms, if you remember. That was a big deal back in the day. Yeah, now we just carry them in, right? How rich we were <laughs> to have phones in the bathrooms. Right. So, <laughs> now, if you'll notice, they've, had, they've got TVs pretty much everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. Uh, the curtains around the bed, the master. Oh. There's no curtains on the windows except for that one. Okay. So there's a lot of natural light if you want to sleep past... 6.30 in the morning, it's best to have this around. Okay, so very nice. All of the beds are equipped with mirrors, so. <laughs> TV, as well as the TV on the wall over there. So there's plenty of viewing pleasure there. Fireplaces work. Um, yeah, all gas fireplaces. All gas fireplaces. Um, they uh, shut them off at a certain time of the year. Currently, they, they just shut them off like this last week, I assume, because it was working two weeks ago. Is this a balcony out here? It is. This is what the one we had rebuilt. We had to have it sloped where the rain would run off. Gotcha. But yeah, and then you get more of the view. They had a heater out here because I assume they sat out here quite often. And they certainly built the house right so you can see it everywhere. Truly. First started coming out here, I would just sit in there for hours just looking out. I just, mm -hmm. I would sit on that Chase Lounge and just enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Of course it was winter time, but that did not change the fact that it was beautiful. And you get to watch bears because bears cross through the yard down here. That was my next question. Do you yeah. get any bears? There are bears. Um, the same bears actually, because it's a mom and four cubs. Very fun having this house. It's a piece of Gatlinburg history, right? It definitely is. <laughs> Intercom system. Okay. Does it still work and play CD? I think it does. Gotcha. There was a CD in it. I believe it was a uh, Shania Twain. <laughs> we bought the house. <laughs> this is a shoe closet, if you've ever been interested in how the rich live. So she would just come out here like this to get her shoes? And shoes, yeah. It seems yeah. really dangerous, doesn't it? <laughs> Especially if you're getting shoes, like getting your heels and, um, you know. He must have thought he was going to stay spry a long time is what I'm thinking. Yeah. So. Oh, there's some of the rope lighting I yeah, see on the there's stairs. there's rope lighting everywhere. This is the butler pantry. John and Bobby Baker would come in through a, a separate entrance and they that was kind of shut off. And then they'd go up this staircase and there was some actual storage um, in the staircase. And this is how they accessed their living quarters at the, on the top floor. The chandelier actually raises and lowers um, on a motor so that it's easy to clean. Is that up or down? It's coming down. Wow. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty amazing. I think you need to put our ceiling fans on motors so I can clean them and <laughs> I'm really impressed. How fun. One hour later. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta go slow. It's delicate. <laughs> Slow and steady. Slow and steady, exactly. So the question I know many of you are probably asking right now is how much is it to rent this house that accommodates up to 10 guests? Well, we found rates as low as $246 a night with a two night minimum stay and goes up based on which days you're looking to book. If you enjoyed this tour video, do us a big favor and make sure to like the video before you leave. And we would love to hear from you in the comments. Let us know if you would like to stay here someday and what ideas do you have that they could add to this house to make it even more like a Barbie dream house. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.